Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Carloop. Data to empower Australia's EV revolution. Hey everyone, it's Tesla Tom. Thank you so much for joining us. Today I just want to talk about the degradation of my Tesla Powerwall 2 just behind me here. I've had this for almost seven years now and uh, I was curious to see what the degradation of this uh, lithium ion NMC battery using 2170 cells from Tesla was. Uh, given now that the new Tesla Powerwall 3 has dropped in Australia, uh, so check out my video on all the pricing and specs of that new battery. Unfortunately, the Powerwall 3 and the Powerwall 2 are not compatible. So naturally, I'm curious to see how much degradation my Powerwall 2 has suffered over the last seven years and whether it's worth upgrading the Powerwall 3 or just to keep my Powerwall 2 just a little bit longer uh, if the degradation is not too bad. So to determine the degradation of the Powerwall 2, there's actually an app that's free of charge called net zero and you can download this from the app store for apple ios and it's also available for android devices as well so using that app you can actually connect to the powerwall 2 uh, via the same wi-fi network and then plug in your uh, login and password details and then as you can see from this screenshot here uh, you can see all the details of the powerwall 2 so my powerwall 2 manufactured in november 2017 in gigafactory nevada which is now uh, almost seven years old. Now it's August 2024, so in uh, three months time, it'll be seven years old. Uh, energy remaining, 37%. So at the time of this snapshot, it was only 37% charged. Full pack energy, 12,651 watt hours. And degradation, 6.2%. So the expected full pack when new is 13,500 watt hours. So therefore it's lost 6.2% in almost seven years. Lifetime energy charged, 23230 kilowatt hours. Lifetime energy discharged, 20405 kilowatt hours. So I know they're just all numbers, but what does that actually mean? Is it actually in step with most lithium ion batteries? Well, here's just one example of a degradation chart across different uh, lithium ion chemistries. And you can see there that the NMC is the black area. And uh, number of cycles from my previous screenshot, uh, you can sort of calculate how many cycles have elapsed. So uh, lifetime energy discharge, 20405 kilowatt hours, divide that by 13.5 kilowatt hours, which is the capacity of the Powerwall 2, that is approximately 1500 cycles. So if you plot along this chart here, 1500 cycles, you can expect around 90% of degradation. So therefore my 6.2% uh, degradation over seven years is actually better than expected for a lithium ion battery. What about the warranty of the Powerwall 2 itself? Well. If you look at the original Powerwall 2 warranty from 2017, which is when I bought this uh, Powerwall 2, it says here for solar self-consumption, backup only, 70% uh, at 10 years following initial installation date. So uh, at the seven year mark, it's only 6.2% degradation. So we'll keep track of this in three years time. I'll check it again, obviously. If the degradation becomes more than 30%, then obviously I'll, I'll make a claim with Tesla. Uh, if you look at the um, operating limitations, unlimited cycles for solar self-consumption, which is good. However, if you've uh, had any other application or combination of applications, uh, then the warranty is limited to 37 megawatt hours of aggregate throughput. Now, I've had the Powerwall 2 behind me hooked up to other third-party apps and devices to determine excess solar production to charge the EVs in my home. I've even signed up my Powerwall 2 and my home to a third-party VPP like Evergen in the past. So I don't know at this stage whether uh, my consumption still counts as self-consumption or whether it's now counted as any other application or combination of applications and therefore it's limited now to 37 megawatt hours of aggregate throughput rather than unlimited cycles. But nevertheless, uh, if you calculate my uh, lifetime energy discharge of 2405 kilowatt hours divided by um, 37 megawatt hours uh, and you see there the number three uh, superscript says measured at the battery AC output. So it's only measuring output Therefore, 2405 over 37 megawatt hours is about 54%, and seven years over 10 years is 70%. Therefore, my throughput is actually less than the amount of time that's elapsed uh, if it's a linear scale from uh, when I first installed it to in 10 years time. So we shall see, I'll keep an eye on this, and uh, obviously we'll do another video in three years time when we are closer to the 10 year warranty mark. All right, well, uh, hopefully that's given you guys an insight into the degradation of my Powerwall 2, which is now almost seven years old since installation. And now with the lithium ion phosphate battery for Powerwall 3, I would suspect that the degradation is actually better than uh, lithium ion NMC chemistry. If you look at the lithium ion degradation chart, you can see the blue plots up the top is lithium ion phosphate. And the consensus is that degradation is less 
than what's expected for NMC and NCA battery chemistries. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thanks for making it this far in the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments about the Power 2 or Power 3 for that matter, uh, make sure you leave them below in the comments section. Otherwise, take care and I'll see you next time on Ludicrous Feed. And as always, happy charging.